Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall discuss question number 5, part 2 of exercise 2.3. And this is factorization. So we need to factorize x cubed minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. This is a cubic polynomial. Four terms are there. So the first step is take this as p of x equals to write the polynomial. Next, the constant is minus 5. So find the factors of minus 5. That is plus or minus 1 plus or minus 5. Because see, 1 into minus 5 is minus 5. Minus 1 into 5 is minus 5. So that's how these are the factors of minus 5. Now by trial method, we need to check which factor when replaced here in place of x would give us 0. This whole expression will become 0. So let's try with p of 1. Wherever x is there, substitute 1. 1 cubed minus 3 1 squared minus 9 1 minus 5. Simplify. 1 multiplied 3 times 1 minus 3 1 into 1 is 1 minus 9 minus 5. So 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 minus 9 minus 5 that equals to minus 16. So we are not getting a 0 here. So we will try the next factor which is minus 1. P of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 cube minus 3 minus 1 squared minus 9 into minus 1 minus 5. Simplify this. Minus 1 multiplied 3 times is minus 1. Minus, minus 1 multiplied 2 times is 1. So that's 3 into 1, 3. Minus, minus, plus, plus 9, minus 5. Equals to minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, plus 9, minus 5. And when you simplify this, you would get a 0. So we got a 0. That means P of minus 1 is equal to 0. So, x plus 1 is a factor of p x, and this is by factor theorem. The factor theorem states that if p of a is equal to 0, a is any number, then x minus a is a factor of p of x. Here a is minus 1 because this is giving 0. So x minus minus 1, x plus 1. That's how we got x plus 1. So this is one of the factor of the given polynomial. To find the other factors, we will use long division. For long division, this is our dividend and x plus 1 is the divisor x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x minus 5. Dividend is inside. Divisor x plus 1 is outside. To find the first term of the quotient, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. x cubed by x. x cancels out. 2. So this is x squared. Multiply by x squared. x plus 1. This thing multiplied by x squared. So that's x cubed plus x squared. So when we subtract, we change the sign. There is no sign here, so this will become minus, plus will become minus. Cancels out, minus 3x squared, minus x squared. That's minus 4x squared. Bring down the next term, minus 9x. Same step you need to follow, minus 4x squared divided by x. The divisor remains the same x cancels out minus 4x so minus 4x multiply x into minus 4x minus 4x squared plus into minus minus 4x subtract to subtract change the sign minus becomes plus minus becomes 
plus. Cancels out. Minus 4x squared plus 4x squared. Cancels out. Minus 9x plus 4x minus 5x. Next term bring down. Now we can see here. See easily that if I multiply x by minus 5, I would get the first term. So multiply by minus 5 minus 5x plus 1 into minus 1 is minus 5. Subtract same expression here. So that means this is obviously this is the factor of this given polynomial so remainder would be zero so this is the divisor this is the quotient and this is the remainder and we know that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder remainder is zero so we can ignore it p of x equals to x plus one and the other factor is the quotient x squared minus 4x minus 5 this can be further factorized by splitting the middle term. So the middle term is minus 4. We need two numbers which adds up to minus 4 and whose product is minus 5. So the two numbers are minus 5 plus 1 and minus 5 into 1. These two numbers would give the sum as minus 4 and the product as minus 5. So x plus 1 x squared minus 5x plus x minus 5 so x plus 1 we took the common factor x here x minus 5 remaining plus here nothing is there so 1 x minus 5 so the factors are x plus 1 x plus 1 x minus 5 final answer we can write as x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x minus 5 equals to x plus 1 x plus 1 x minus 5 and this is the final answer so first find out the factors of the constant term by trial method see which would give you zero that would be one factor then use long division and then splitting the middle term well in the next video we shall do part 3 of question number 5